Every movement in this dance is a whole story. We always want to tell a story about how to fish on the beach, how to climb up mountains, how the goddess Pella spews lava from volcanoes and the Hawaiian Islands, how to surf and how to spend fun times with friends on the beach. A real hula dancer should be able to express the rustle of palm trees, the life of the ocean and all this to the exotic sounds of the ukulele. Aloha. Hello. Aloha. What are your names? What will you tell us today? Anya. Nastya. Nastya. Aloha. Today we will perform Hawaiian dances. They're fun, soulful, beautiful, romantic and perky. Let's learn how to play the Hawaiian ipu head drum, dance with the puwili bamboo sticks and hear the romantic Hawaiian melodies. Hawaiian dances or hula, as these dances are called by Hawaiians themselves, are authentic dances. They are modern and ancient forms of this dance. The essence of the dance was originally the way that natives of Hawaii expressed their entire history. They had no writing and no alphabet, so all emotions were handed down from generation to generation in words and stories, and all this was supported by movements. In each song, the Hawaiians can show one or another aspect of life, love, romantic relationships, and even fishing. <laughs> they like to encode the funniest stories in world plays, and it is only some great-grandmother from the family that can tell you what exactly was encrypted in this song. They say that very few speak about this dance. Why is this? Is it related to the fact that people think there is nothing to be learned? Hawaiian dances are not popular in Ukraine, so very few people talk about them and most don't know what they are. Yes, I think this is also due to the distance. We live on the opposite part of the globe, and of course people think that these are simple movements, some cocoa bras, shirt skirts, and always conversations begin from refuting these stereotypes. Yes, the stereotype is dancing on the beach in coconuts. Two steps, three claps and nothing more. The image that Hollywood created, these hula girls who invite tourists to their paradise of sexuality, is it true or is it just Hollywood fiction? Partly, there is some truth. In fact, it was invented by Hollywood. Naturally, what could be more attractive in a movie? Of course, a beautiful girl entices a guy with his sensuous body. But no, in Hawaii, they are hospitable, but not those that Hollywood invented. As for me, I would not associate this image with how real Hawaiian dances look. Of course, there is some element of sexuality, because this dance is often about feelings and about the relationship between a man and a woman. But I would not say that this is an obvious or direct message. I've been into dancing since childhood. There were different styles, but mainly folk dancing. I only watched the cartoon Lilo and Stitch. I think many people saw it. There were very beautiful melodies that I had never heard, and they inspired me so much, although it would seem that these are melodies for children. And I started to Google search, found at first only songs and then through this song I already found a video on YouTube. There is such a Hawaiian festival, Merry Monarch, which is held every year and many schools compete there. And so I saw the video on the Merry Monarch as the Hawaiians themselves are dancing and realized that this is mine. Here is this dance that I want to do. 
These dances probably bring pleasure to people. You always feel some kind of flight after rehearsal. Every time you find a new song because the text and the movements are interconnected and it is a dance based on a story. Hawaiian dancing is the harmony of soul and body. You can leave the dance at the moment like some story. It brings me the great pleasure. I always dreamed of dancing, but I could not find any style or feel exactly what would suit my character. The first time I saw Hawaiian dances was five years ago at an ethnic festival. I did not understand that this was Hawaiian dancing, but something struck me. I then ran to the girls after the performance and asked what it was, how it was called, and where I could learn it. And from that moment, my story began, which is a part of my life, and I think it will be with me forever. It looked so unusual, so feminine. Probably at that time I needed some femininity and a feeling of lightness. So I followed such a vocation with my emotions, my heart and my soul. For me, dance is an opportunity to get to know life better, to develop certain skills. Every dance has some definite nuances. I've been practicing Hawaiian dancing for five years. I was engaged in oriental dances for a long time, and I learned about Hawaiian dances on the Internet. I like them very much. I like their plasticity and femininity. This dance helps to reveal feminine qualities, to gain plasticity, tenderness, and Hawaiian dance can also teach you to love. There are two types of Hawaiian dances. The main ones are Awana, modern style, and Kahiko, ancient style. The ancient style was danced in its form in this way starting from 1750. Strange as it may seem, it was originally a male dance that only men danced in temples, while women sat on the side singing rhythmically. After that, women began dancing this style. Modern style is more like a flying one. There is more space for creativity since it was already invented on the basis of ancient dances, when people wanted to bring some variety to the movements and probably to show the great beauty of the Hawaiian dance. It was then that such a non-traditional instrument as a Hawaiian ukulele or a simple guitar appeared in Hawaii. In Hawaiian dancing, great attention is paid to singing and playing musical instruments, especially traditional Hawaiian ones. One of these is the ipuheki drum, which is made from a special pumpkin. It has very thick skins that are dried, and then the instrument is split into two halves. There are other instruments, but today I will play for you on a Hawaiian drum. In our studio, we dance in the modern and ancient styles. These are the basics of any dancer who wants to comprehend the art of Hawaiian dance. And Hawaiians teach us both ancient and modern styles. Of course, the movements may differ. The ancient style always has more power in the dance and more rhythmic movements. At the same time, modern dances are smooth with tenderness and a beautiful sound and melody. I danced both the ancient dance style Kahiko and modern Awana. Of course, the modern one is closer, because the ancient one is primarily intended for passing on to the next generation the history of the Hawaiian people. Well, it's probably just a little further. We don't feel it that way. The modern form is about feelings that everyone has and experiences. These are universal stories that we hear, and this is certainly closer to my soul. We have lessons in the classical style and a modern style. I cannot single out which one I like best, because the classic style is connected with ancient traditions that have some legends, while the modern style has more of a sense of tenderness. Which of these styles do I give preference to? I guess the modern style. The music is quite different and it has a more feminine touch. Конечно, в идеале. 
Of course, ideally, it would be great if every dancer who does not live in the Hawaiian Islands goes there. But now is the time that we can observe all this mostly on webcams. Log in and see what the atmosphere is like on Waikiki Beach. So view different photos, videos, movies and enjoy this atmosphere. If you find the right teacher, they will show you the right way to take up this exhilarating art of Hawaiian dance at a seminar. There are not many schools of Hawaiian dancing in Ukraine yet. Most likely we will consider Kiev as a center. There are also schools in Odessa and Kharkiv and perhaps others that train students individually. Hawaiian dancing is easy to master if you are ready to learn. I started with some seminars conducted either by Hawaiians or their students. Now I continue online training personally with the teacher. At the very beginning, Hawaiians always say that it is necessary to study the lyrics of a song. This is always quite difficult, as this is a different language. Besides the fact that people living in Hawaii speak English, they also speak their native Hawaiian language, which has much fewer letters and is unusual. At first, you have a hard time understanding the words. Even when Hawaiians translate it for you into English, you need to do some research after it. We train twice a week. I remember the first stage. At first, it seemed extremely difficult with all these movements, how to cross your hands and legs and how to not lose your emotions and smile. Then the first successes appeared. I think it is common for all to immediately think that you have already become the queen of hula, like a master, and then you can participate in a festival in Hawaii. But fortunately, this illusion quickly passed and I got a real perception of my skills. And I think that a lot of work and effort must be given to really call yourself a hula dancer, not just someone who enjoys these dances. Often, especially at first, I had to rehearse at home because I was behind the girls. My family was surprised because they didn't understand what was going on, what the movements were and what strange music I was dancing to. But now everyone is used to it, everyone joyfully attends our performances, they fully support me and of course this is very pleasant for me. Our studio performs at many festivals, since we already exist for five years. We always try to look for performances for girls, because it's important. You learn the dance techniques and, of course, you want to perform in a beautiful skirt or dress. Why not? When you perform Hawaiian dances for the first time in front of an audience, it is always interesting to see their reactions, but it is often very positively perceived. Many often come up and say, we have seen something unusual, we have never seen anything like this. It is always pleasant to hear. I remember very well my first appearance on the stage. It was a wonderful day, and we even made hairstyles with fresh flowers in the way it is done in Hawaii, like real hula dancers. Incredibly beautiful hairstyle, a very sublime mood, and of course total stage fright. The most difficult thing was to smile. And the first performance I didn't smile, I just tried not to forget the necessary movements, so as not to let the team down. Fortunately, now I smile during my performance, and I dedicate my efforts more to the dance. I remember my first festival. It was Tripilia Circle. The weather was wonderful. We arrived there early in the morning. The performance was in the afternoon, and we enjoyed nature. I was a bit worried, but in the end everything turned out great, and there was a huge audience that supported us. At the end of the performance, we held a small master class, and almost all the spectators joined us. It was very cool and fun. I was glad to meet you girls. The feeling is mutual. This was Hawaiian dancing. Look for us on social networks and let's do the hula together. Hawaiian dancing is love and soul. Aloha.